Hey, hey, hello, viewers. You're welcome to Living Word Blocks. This is where we dispense the truth of God's Word. And I'm sure that you're going to be really blessed by what we are bringing to your viewing. Apostle Joshua Selman is the lead pastor of Eternity Network International, popularly known as Koinonia. He actually spoke about a very powerful message, directing it to the youth or working class people. The title of this message is titled Powerful Words of Advice for the Employed and the Unemployed. So if you are employed or you are not employed, it is a very powerful message for you to listen to. It is something that can transform and change your life presently from what it is now. One of the things he made mention of is the fact that some people that even get paid 200,000 naira per month in this present situation and economy of Nigeria cannot even afford to sustain themselves, especially if they're not our family, to even sustain, the, the amounts cannot even sustain them and their family. So he talked about possible way out, all kinds of businesses that you can venture into and that can yield a lot of money to sustain you and your family. So I'll leave you now to listen to it in full and make sure you 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 put, you, you, uh, you have your pen and your jobs are beside you to jot down these very lucrative businesses that you can venture into and as you do so may you be greatly blessed thank you and happy viewing just stand i'm going to pray for you please take this very seriously something will happen to you but i want you to listen those of you who are not doing anything i'm challenging you tonight you can't keep sitting down and waiting for a job brothers and sisters the sincere truth is that in the world that we live today just having one stream of income of your job will not do you good i hope you know that praise the lord i don't care even if it is two hundred thousand per month you are receiving it will not be enough it may be enough for you now because you are stingy and greedy and you are doing everything for yourself let children come how much is the school fees of one child a very good school good school huh? over hundred thousand plus you can imagine now you have been shouting you are training your children with 150 and you are collecting hundred thousand your entire life till you die till high blood pressure kills you will be on deficit but you need you is it doesn't just mean to jump into things foolishly here and there but let me tell you listen listen you must get up and do something. The man with one talent sat down. For somebody in this place, this is the message God is telling you. If you, if you are afraid of doing business, you can start a poultry at least. You are doing everything for yourself. Let children come. How much is the school fees of one child? A very good school. Good school. Huh? Over 100,000 plus. You can imagine. Now you have been shouting, you are training your children with 150 and you are collecting 100,000. Your entire life till you die, till high blood pressure kills you will be on deficit. But you need, you, it doesn't just mean to jump into things foolishly here and there. But let me tell you, listen, listen. You must get up and do something. The man with one talent sat down. For somebody in this place, this is the message God is telling you. If you, if you are afraid of doing business, you can start a poultry at least. What is wrong with three or four of you? Listen, I'm very serious. Just, just stop this. Let me press this thing down. Praise God. What is wrong with three or four of you bringing 50, 50,000 naira together huh? and buying one small golf and getting somebody honest to be putting it on the road for you? You bought a phone of 70,000 naira. That's your destiny there. You are holding it on your hand and moving around. Are you getting what I'm saying? I don't just want to pray and chorus this like music. Some of us are not doing anything about our lives. You must get up. There are ladies here. I challenge one of our ladies. She came to me and I said, you are good. What can you do? She said, I can bake. I said, bake what? She said, cupcakes. I said, what has stopped you from baking cupcakes? Five or ten. Package it very well. Give it a beautiful name. 
You think people won't buy it? You will sit down and be thinking about the idea and then somebody will do it and you'll be biting your finger. Not taking a risk is a greater risk. Some of you are afraid. What if my money goes? That you kept it. Are you not eating the money? The money is still going. Praise the Lord. Seek advice. Seek advice. We teach on finances to be able to help us. I don't believe in people getting anointed alone and remaining poor and broke. And now is the time to start. Start and fail honorably. Fail honorably and do it again. It's better than sitting down. Or God Jordan is here. Or Jordan, wave your hand. Or God Jordan is here. I knew when he started his bookstore. The room was so small. It was just like this little place. But today God has honored him. He's already making modalities to enter partnership with people like Evangel and all of these people going to China to bring in books. He started small. My brother, where is this gentleman? This guy that made tomato. Wave your hand now. This gentleman came to me for counseling, I remember. And he told me. I said, what, what can you do? He said, I can do irrigation tomato or something. And he did it. Within a month or two, this guy brought a black leather full of very heavy, big, big tomatoes. But someone was still sitting down there. There is something you can do. Say, I will do something. Say it. Some of you brothers, you are sitting there. The truth is there's something small in the account. Maybe 20,000. Maybe 10,000. If you start a small recharge card, this thing. Challenge yourself. Don't let Nigerians with their, with their fear come and meet you and tell you this and that. If you are afraid of moving forward, you will be broke in this life. Let me tell you the truth. Brothers, challenge yourself. God is speaking to you this night. I'm not saying just get into every kind of hustling and get into every kind of gimmicks and scammings around. No. But you can settle down with directed financial intelligence. You can do something that can bless you. Ladies, how many of you bake here? If you know you bake to the glory of God, let me see your hands. Why are you sitting down? Is that not your gift? Are you hearing what I'm saying? Have you tried it and failed? When you fail, you learn the lessons and get back. Hallelujah. There are all kinds of fields around. If you get a small place and start poultry, within six to seven weeks, they are ready. Some of you are good. How many of you are good in graphics? Good in graphics. You know that you are good enough to... to you see that? Can't you start something? Look at the media. Imagine if you are so good, why can't you come and advertise yourself and tell the media, I'm very good. Give me job to do for Koinonia. If you bring proposals and we look at it and it makes a lot of sense, we'll take it and we'll pay you for it. We won't say you're a Christian brother. We'll pay you for your value. But have you taken a step? No. Some of you make shirts. How many of you make shirts? Let me see your hands. You make shirts. Honestly, you make shirts. You, and you have never made any shirts for me. And I know you. You see what we are saying? Ejimi, when Ejimi started making shirts, it was iron. Hot iron. What do they call it? Is it screen printing? No, that's not screen printing. Yeah? Heat transfer. You will press the iron on the shirt and then we will go on with it. Challenge yourself. Let's not just keep saying demons, demons, demons. Where it is our own part to play, let's play it. Is that true? I feel like everybody should stand up. Everybody stand up. You must join them in this, in this one. Why are you sitting down? With everything they have said, you are supposed to be standing up and even raising two hands. <laughs> let's pray and then after it, we'll take the altar call. I want everybody to be blessed. Not everybody will be a man of God to stand on stage and be receiving honorariums. But there is something you can do. Everyone say, there's something I have. I, I cast out that spirit of fear that stops you from taking action. Fear of losing, fear of... I cast it out in the name of Jesus. You must be blessed in life. It takes audacity. It takes gods. Hallelujah. Ladies, how many of you plot? I know Selena Platt. Where is she? Selena. She has run away. Okay, look at her. Some of you plot. But the problem is, you are like the man with the one talent. You buried it and sat quietly. 
Have you come out to make yourself known? Look, let me tell you, if you think you have what it takes, market yourself and we will promote you. I assure you, if you think you have what it takes and you believe you are prepared to stand, we are not going to bring crooks. As I'm saying this now, let me balance it. You are a crook, we will send, we'll pray, we'll send you away. We will pray for you. If you become a headache, we will send you away. Clean business with the dignity of kingdom integrity. Fail honorably. We will clap for you and pray for you again. But don't sit down and not do anything. Hallelujah. And then start small. Some of you want good luck, Jonathan, to call you to be his secretary. Start small. Start small. Start small. How many of you make um, maybe mouthwash or lotions or soap and all of that? How many? Look at. Look at your money. See all your money here. Everybody. How many of you sell perfumes or cosmetics? You see that? Look at. I'm not saying you should come to church and come to do business around. But there, there are thousands of people. Please, I'm challenging you. Take it very seriously. Oh boy, you make cake now. Raise your hand. Why didn't you wave your hand? That gentleman, wave it very well. That gentleman makes exceptional cakes. The first time his sister made cake for me was in 2006. My birthday, Debbie. Ah! That cake made sense. And then another thing I'll tell you again is, maybe the reason why you are where you are is you need to improve on yourself. Don't be a local champion and keep smiling. We will not patronize your product. And don't be angry. Don't say all this coin on your... We won't buy it. Let me tell you in advance. You make a shirt that does not align this place. To here. We will not buy it, sir. So learn and be excellent. Say I'll be excellent. I'll be excellent. How many of you fry chicken? You know the guy, Kentucky Fried Chicken. I think he was about 64 years or 84 years thereabout. It was frustration that led that man to start KFC. You see it around. Kentucky Fried Chicken. Today he has, he's a multi-millionaire, if not a billionaire, because he dared to take a step. You don't have to do everything. You are doing chin chin. You are doing bones. You are doing uh, every, No, no. Specialize somewhere. This is what I always tell people. Jack of all trades, you are, they say, what are you doing? Say, I'm doing everything. I'm, I make beads. I also sell pure water. Calm down. Focus on something. Kenny, your aunt, where is Kenny? Your auntie does what? What does she do? She sells coke. She retails coke. She makes so much money. Maybe in one day, what her salary will give her in one month. And we are still sitting down here. Is it that you are calling yourself dull or you are saying you cannot make it? Please challenge yourself. Brothers, God is speaking to you. I know that we are advising the sisters and saying start small, but you too cooperate. Haba, the small cannot be too bad like that. Cooperate. Let's balance the equation. Because some of us, we can't keep telling the sisters, okay, just come with anybody and the brother is not doing anything. You too be sincere. If the sister was your daughter, will you just give her to any man like that? Rise up and do something. Have you taken proposal to go and meet the schools around and say, I need to change your school uniform. I need to redesign it. Everybody may say no, but somebody will say yes. Hallelujah. I spent four good weeks teaching on financial dominion so that we will take steps. We were discussing with somebody on the potentials of seeing a laundry service around. Very excellent laundry service. There are some of you who can do it. Package yourself. I think it was with my sister. Baby, it was you, Abby? Yes. We're talking with my sister. And then, okay, Kenny, you were there too, and, and those boys. We sat down and we're talking. My sister, this lady wants to start a car wash. As you see her like that. She can't be my sister and she's not. The Bible says, let this mind be in you. Force it to be in you too. She's starting a car wash. A copper, but she's going to start a car wash. How old are you? You want to wait until the day it dawns on you that your energy is fading. 
hey, hey, viewers, you're welcome back. I'm sure you're greatly blessed by that message. I'm sure of that. By now, you know some kind of businesses you can venture into that can be very profiting and that can actually help you to even leave your um, 8 to 9 job if that is the case. Or even if you're not leaving your 8 to 9 job, at least there is something that you can do on the side that can actually support you in taking care of yourself and your family, especially if you are the breadwinner of your family. And remember, the scripture says that the gift of a man will make a way for him. There are so many things that you can do that even when you start teaching people, it can actually bring money to you. Or even if you start telling people about it, it can actually bring money or value. You can add value to people's life and it can also bring returns or financial increase to you. Thank you for listening to this message. If this is your first time on this channel, kindly subscribe, like, and share this video. And leave in the comment section below how you are greatly blessed by this message. See you some other time. Bye for now, and God bless you.